This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the Gravel zipperless packing cubes, which I've been testing for the past three weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So these cubes are crafted from a 210D polyester and they're kind of like envelope style. So you kind of fold um, your clothes inside the envelope as you pack it. I've got the large one empty here and then the small one packed full. So I believe that this is the 210D polyester here on the kind of like the, the main area where like you would put the letter and then you'd fold the things around it. This does have like a two ply. So you can see that it's two separate sheets of that material there. And this does have some water resistance to it, whereas the mesh part obviously doesn't. So if you were to set this on something a little bit wet, it's probably gonna be okay. But if something were to get spilled on the mesh or like at these corners, it's not super water resistant, which isn't great. But at the same time, if you put something a little bit damp inside of here, it's not the end of the world because it breathes a bit and can dry or just really won't get stinky. If you know you have to go from one place to the other and maybe your stuff isn't quite dry or, or something gets wet. So we do have hook and loop fasteners here. So let me, you do these ones first and then these ones because this side has the little logo on it. So you got the large hook and loop fastener here and then a little bit of a smaller one here, but they're both quite long, which is nice. So you can really pack these things full. So if you need to, you can just, you know, have a little tiny bit here hanging on. Obviously it's not as strong because there's not as much coverage, but you can really fit a ton of gear in here because of that. And we see the same thing on these ones as well. Let's fold that up here. Then you can see that gravel logo there. I really dig that logo because you really don't notice it until you're like right on top of it. Um, I mean, how often are people really looking at your packing cubes? But I just dig that it's not really in your face and just very subdued. It is a little bit rough on the back side, um, which really doesn't matter. Like it's not gonna hurt your clothes or anything, but I don't know why it's just a little bit odd to me. Just something that I noticed but I dig how it looks. And one thing to note about in use these packing cubes, the hook and loop fastener could in damage certain kinds of clothing. Um, like I've had hook and loop fasteners in the past kind of like snag up a jersey or something like that, or certain fabrics are more prone to it than others. So that's just something to think about while you're loading this up and de deciding what clothes you put inside here. But we've got obviously these two sizes. And then in this next section, I'm gonna put what I have inside of the small one into the larger one. So you can see how these can really be expanded and also compressed down. So right now I have a quarter zip packed inside this smaller packing cube, but this isn't really like a travel quarter zip that I have in here. It's actually pretty bulky. It's not one I would really bring, but it kind of is like, it's not pushing the limits of this by any means, but it is a little bit tighter right now. And then I'm gonna transfer this into the larger packing cube to show how this one can kind of cinch down on pieces of gear that are a little bit small for it. So right now you can see we've got about, maybe about an inch of coverage on that hook and loop fastener and it's not coming off. It's not um, you know, in danger of opening up and you know, making your bag look all like a, the inside of a washing machine. Um, so that's good that it's holding tight. And then the interior one has a little bit more coverage going on here because these are rectangles, so it's a bit wider. So it doesn't have to try as hard to cinch that part down. So we've got pretty much full coverage there, which is good. So when you're folding, you can try and fold it kind of rectangular because these are shaped like rectangles, as you can see. So I'll open this one up now. So as you can see, another larger rectangle, so I will keep it rectangular here. In this one, we have quite a bit of extra room. I mean, we could fit a bunch of stuff on either side here, but with a regular zippered packing cube, you can't really compress them because it's just a zipper. I mean, you could put something around the exterior, like you could put um, a Velcro cable tire on the outside or a rubber band or something, but that doesn't really look great and it might come off or snag your clothing or something like that. So this is all self-contained. I'll slide this one out of the way. So this one here, just flap that over and then I'll secure this as far as I can with still having about an inch of coverage. So there is a little bit of wiggle room on the sides there, but not a huge deal. But if it were, you know, just regular, there's all this space here. And then that would be just kind of like wasting space and wouldn't look that great. So sliding that over, got about an inch of coverage there. And then this one will be able to cinch down a little bit because of that rectangular shape I went over. And that's still a pretty good um, 
grasp there. So both of these packing cubes are very different sizes, but they're able to carry the same amount of gear because this one was expandable and this one was able to cinch down a little bit. And that's where these packing cubes I think really shine is that if you know, you're someone who likes to have a separate place to store your dirty clothes or you buy things while you're traveling or sometimes when I go on trips, I hardly bring anything and I stop at thrift stores to you know, get some new clothes as like a souvenir. And um, it's just nice to be able to expand or make your wardrobe smaller as you go without having a bunch of you know materials flying around. So I'm going to take this out just so you can see them side by side. So as you can see, this one is quite a bit larger. Um, obviously, there is no medium, so you just have the small and the large here. But this item here was able to fit inside both of them because they do utilize that hook and loop fastener instead of a zipper. So I don't know that I will use these moving forward just because, as I mentioned, I, these hook and loop fasteners always really worry me and I do have some more athletic style clothing that these tend to kind of like to you know, snag onto. But I will say I did travel using these over the holiday and I didn't have any issues with any of my clothes getting snagged. So, I mean, I'm just a worry wart. That's probably why I wouldn't use these, but they're a very cool idea and I'm very excited to see what Gravel does with this concept in the future. So there you have it, the Gravel zipperless packing cubes. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.